Ooh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another Go Slow RNG video. So uh, this one's gonna be pretty simple. All I, I was just at a uh, Dollar General, or not even Dollar General, a uh, Dollar Tree Family Dollar, and I know they have cards. Which normally I go there and I just look for like the football gravity packs, gravity boxes, whatever. But all they had was baseball, and I didn't really want to get either either of these. But I didn't want to, you know, leave without cards. So I ended up buying, I think I got eight of these Donruss 23 baseball. And then uh, I think I got seven of these Tops Series 2. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I was really pumped to get football. I was going to buy the whole box, but then they didn't have them. So, you know, I still wanted to make a video. So I figured I would just go ahead and buy these. So, yeah, let's get into it. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about these baseball cards. Uh, I do know that, or I heard people mention that Series 1 isn't as good as Series 2, so that's why I went with Series 2. Let's just see what we got. Hernandez. I should have made more room. I think I already have this card. Future Stars. Torkelson. Joey Gallo. What we got here? Sayani. So nothing too special there. So yeah, if I mispronounce any of these names, you're just gonna have to deal with it because, you know, I'm not always perfect. Which I, which also, it kind of reminds me, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day about, you know, he knew me in high school, we were friends in high school, and we both found it kind of amazing that in a real life scenario, like I'm never at a loss for words, but then you put me in on one of these videos that I just fumble in my speech. Like, I'm doing it now. It's crazy. Bias. Lynch. So I'm not really expecting anything amazing in here. Burleson. But it would be cool to find something, you know, decent. McCutcheon. Actually, let's try one of these Donruss. Now, I think I did hear that... I think I did hear... Or read that uh, Donruss actually doesn't even have the license. So they may not... Yeah, look at this. There's no team mention. What is this? Duke Snyder. I like how some of these cards look, you know, throwback. There's a yellow. I mean, I guess they all probably have yellows. Let's see what we got here. Lou Brock. That's pretty awesome right there, actually. So I'm definitely going to have to put a sleeve on this one. Or I may not have to, but, you know, I'm gonna. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got. Rated Prospect. It's kind of funny how they don't have the license here. But I've never seen the, the Donruss baseball, so I just want to check them out. Let's get back to the top. So, so far, I thought Lou Brock is kind of awesome. Is it worth anything? I don't know. I mean, I'm a Cardinals fan. What is this? Padres. Nothing special. What we got here? Chris Sale. Red Sox. So, like, what... Does anyone else know? Like, if you do know, can you mention in the comments, like, what all types of cards do, uh... Or does Family Dollar carry? I know that I've seen Score... The tops, of course, and the Donruss. Uh, I ha I'm not sure if I've seen baseball there or basketball, but maybe. But for a dollar a pack, I mean, it's still kind of fun. I didn't now. If if there was football there, I probably would have bought the whole box. But since there was just baseball, I kind of wanted to leave some for other people. So far, I'm not really impressed with these tops. 
Then again, you may see something I don't because I really don't know what I'm looking for when it comes to baseball. Bell. Bryce Johnson. Is that a... Oh, it's his face. I would... It would be really cool to find some sort of autograph. I mean, I guess it depends on who it is, but... I do like the fact that in these Donruss, you can get some, like... I can't remember what they are, like retro 90s cards or something, which we've seen a few. Or one of them. I'm not even going to name all these out. Yep. Last pack of tops. Now, I know, you know, a lot of people may not be impressed with these cards you can get at Family Dollar. But I think it's pretty cool that kids, you know, because there's a lot of kids that go to places like that. I think it's cool that they can pick up a couple packs for a buck, you know, or, well, a pack for a dollar. I mean, it's a nice little way to keep, you know, new people kind of circulating in. Stan, so far, so far, this Lou Brock is still, this is definitely my favorite. Back to the Donruss and the Rated Prospects. Beltron. Joe Morgan. Here's one of those throwback cards. Pretty cool. I guess the yellow is always behind it. Now a yellow throwback. George Brett. I'm not sure what these call. Are these just called throwbacks? I wonder if they come in like Prism too. That'd be awesome. Rated Prospect Jordan Walker. Set this. I need to do better with my piles. I'm just gonna move it. It's too late to fix it now. So what do we got left? We got. Let's see, we got like six packs left for this Donruss. Now I will say, look at that, <laughs> Babe Herman. That's pretty cool looking guard. We got here Palmer. Let's see what the yellow is behind it. Looks cool. Oh, look at that. Each row. Man, these right here kind of killed it on these uh, retros in that pack. Which I'm definitely going to put a couple sleeves on some of those. I kind of dig these so far. Henry Davis. That's just his colors. I guess it's not a yellow. Another Ichiro. Here's my... Got a yellow rated prospect behind it. Not to be confused with rated rookie. Can they not say rookie? I guess I could. So that's pretty cool in card. I know James will probably dig that. Well, James, you can probably have it if you want, to be honest with you. Yeah, so uh, how many of you guys have actually bought some of these cards from these gravity packs? You know, whether it be baseball, football, basketball. How'd it go? Like, have you guys ever found anything good? Try not to make this video too long, so I only got four packs left. I'm just going to try to get through this. Vladimir, another throwback yellow. Something different behind it. Looks pretty cool. Mark McGuire, look at that. What we got behind it? I've never seen this before. Look at that, Diamond Kings. That's pretty sweet, too. I kind of dig that. I wish it was like a prism or something. 
And I'm not sure if any of these are worth anything, but I definitely like how they're how they're doing these. Minus, you know, not having the license, which is kind of a bummer, but yeah, three packs left. Trying to make this video too long. Some of these cards are pretty cool looking. I got another Diamond King back there. Jordan Lawler. Obviously, I was looking at the one on the bottom. Let's see what our Diamond King is. Oh, Mickey Mantle Diamond Kings. That's pretty cool. Corners don't look bad. Go ahead and throw a sleeve on Mickey. Which I'm going to put them on a few more, but try not to make this video too long. I know you guys get bored of me. So, I mean, I see another Diamond Kings. Do you always get Diamond Kings? Johnny Bench, that's awesome. That's my dad's favorite player. This card just looks cartoonish. Don't it? It just looks fake. What we got here? Another rated prospect. Who we got for this Diamond Kings? Another feller. It'd be cool to find a numbered one. I may actually go back and get more of these. I don't know how many more they had left, but... I might actually go get them. I don't like that they don't have the license of help. It's kind of a bummer. Tamar Johnson. Card felt weird. Let's see who our yellow is. Grayson Rodriguez. What's behind it? Another rated prospect. Yep, yeah, so... I guess... Most of my, I mean, most of the nicer ones actually came from the Donruss, it looks like. I'm not sure, you know, how these, how these are value-wise, or how they even hold their value, but it doesn't seem too bad for only spending $8. Bob Feller, the rated prospect, yellow, looks like a cartoon. Johnny Bench. Look at that Mickey Mantle Diamond Kings. That's cool. It's my first ever Mickey Mantle card. Mark McGuire. I actually think I have. I might actually have the original of these. It's definitely not in as good shape, but I might have it actually. I'll have to check my book. My book is kind of sad to look at sometimes because I've had it since I was like, 17 well i don't know probably 12 actually uh it's just you know my big card binder from when i used to collect when i was younger i i have somewhere around uh which is primarily basketball there's a couple like marvel cards in there baseball i actually didn't have any football in there because i never watched football when i was in high school or anything you know except for maybe the super bowl but uh it's almost my binder is a little bit depressing to look at because I have somewhere around 600 Sean Kemp cards that I traded tons of other people for. It's crazy. I might be the only person with 600 Sean Kemp cards. Sean Kemp doesn't even have 600 Sean Kemp cards. I mean, he didn't have them back, but it's just kind of crazy. He was my favorite player. I think he was kind of like, you know, he was... He was one of the, I don't know, he was definitely before, like, what's his name? Uh, I can't even think of his name now. Uh, anyways, it'll come to me. Anyways, if you were curious what these packs look like, you know, what these cards look like for only a dollar, at Family Dollar, I think it's worth it. I mean, they're fun to rip. You know, you can maybe get your first Mickey Mantle ever. Is this worth anything? I have no clue. Probably not, but it's awesome. I've never had one before. It's pretty sweet, even though it doesn't have any of the 
MLB licensing, which kind of sucks. But yeah, this is it. I'm trying to make it keep, you know, trying to keep it quick. I don't want to keep people hanging around too long. But yeah, that's it. Got these at Family Dollar. Just remember, guys, go slope.